guys what is going on i am back on youtube hello it's been a while since i've seen you guys how are you guys doing um if you are new here make sure you guys subscribe turn on the little bell notifications for videos to come up in your subscription box and yeah comment down below uh what should i do with this channel should i vlog should i make more reaction videos send me some links on what to react to and i will react to it or try to um let's see what else should I, what sh should I make a reaction channel? Let me know in the comments down below. There's a couple more things that I want you guys to comment. Comment that on what should I do with my YouTube channel. Also comment your favorite Riverdale couple. Um, mine is, mine is Buckhead and Shoney, obviously. Um, who would you kiss, Mary kill in Riverdale? It's between Betty, Ronnie, and Tony. My answer would be kiss Ronnie, marry Tony, and kill Betty just because I love Betty, trust me, I love Betty, but, you know, I don't love you that much, girl. Like, I love your dark side, but, no, sorry. <laughs> but, I would probably only kiss Ronnie because I think she would be very undecided between, like, Archie and me, and I don't know, I just, I don't, I, I love Ronnie so much, she has a really good heart, and she puts her friends over herself, and I think that's a really good quality to have, and especially for her reputation that Ronnie has in general on the show, is kind of like the rich, spoiled brat girl that's kind of popular in a way, but she's not really that popular, but she has a sweet, secret side to her, and I think that's great, and honestly... I love how Ronnie is, no matter what. Like, Ronnie's such a great character. She's very underrated. I feel like people hate on her. And I really don't hate Ronnie, like, at all. Like, I don't understand why people hate Ronnie. I mean, I kind of do in a way, because Ronnie can be kind of a bitch. And that's what she's supposed to be, guys. Like, come on. Um, and she's supposed to have rich parents. And, you know, I feel like she's very... She puts her friends first. And I think that's the good quality. And I feel like a lot of people don't see that in her, but I do. I guess because I can read people better. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, but I would marry Tony just because I would think that she goes uh, far and beyond for the person that she loves. And she cares so much about the person that she is with. And she will do anything for that person. And she will just go above and beyond for them. And honestly, Ronnie, um, not Ronnie, um, Tony is just a badass girl. She's she rides a motorcycle, she's in the serpents, she's on, the, she's in the serpents, she's kind of like the queen of the serpents, really, um, well, not right now, as of season two, she's not, but, I mean, her girlfriend, Cheryl, um, she kind of is, I guess, she's kind of queen of serpents, or princess of serpents, so, I guess, those two are princesses of serpents, because I think Betty's going to be a serpent, so, and she's going to be Queen of Serpent because Jughead is the leader. So, I think that's going to be very interesting. And also, Cheryl and Betty are cousins. So, I think that's going to be interesting to see on Season 3. And I'm very excited for Season 3. So, yeah. So, make sure you guys leave those comments down below. I'm so sorry the intro is very long. I just missed you guys a lot. I've just been very busy and I just didn't really know what to do with this YouTube channel. So, I just kind of took a break from YouTube for a little while. I didn't really, like you know, kind of like figure out my life and, you know, I've been going through some things going on in my life and I have some personal things going on. So, um, yeah, I'm back though. Hello. I hope you guys missed me. I hope you guys will subscribe and I will try to make videos as much as I can. I'm not going to be certain. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm just here. Hello. Welcome back. And so, yeah, if I don't upload, I'm going to try to upload as much as I can, but no promises, guys. Okay, so basically we're going to be reacting to uh, 50 Reasons to Ship Shoney, part one. And so let's get started, guys. I love you. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. All right, I love you, and let's go. Sweet cousin, to what do I owe this unannounced pleasure? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm compartmentalizing. I'm Tony Topaz. I was supposed to give you the full animatronic tour of Southside High, but some of the robots in my episode started killing the guests, so. Because you are a jealous, spiteful, starving, emotional, anorexic, 
You Northsiders and your privilege. All you do is demonize the South Side, so of course it's not demonizing, Tony. It's stating facts. There's way more drugs and gangs and... The drugs, you mean, which were sold primarily to North Side crackheads? The floor and chill. I don't know who's more controlling, you or my mom. Josie, what you did, saving me from that next thing creature, it's a death I'll never be able to repay. Aw. Cards on the table? I'm not interested in being a police right now. I'm more than girls anyway. Uh, I usually do the honors. Not today. Cha-cha, I was born for this moment. <laughs> I will not allow Riverdale High's above-average GPA to suffer because of classrooms that are overcrowded with underachievers. Why don't you come over here and say that to my face? <laughs> Clean up the bus guards. Okay, guys. Shit. Yes, we love freaking. Yes, we love freaking Tony. Tony freaking protesting. We're here representing the dead and the silenced. General Pick and Slaughter, the Uptana tribe. And this land, the land that will soon give way to a new South Side, was stolen from them. So, where are we going and how extravagant and wardrobe should they pack? Look at this point, she is lonely. Romantic couples only. I see. Of course. Aw, Cheryl. Something wrong? I just want to make sure you know that Archie and Betty kissed in front of my house right before Christmas, and then it seemed pretty serious. Like, was Tom serious? Enjoy a couple only weekend. Kisses to all. Bye now. <laughs> Kisses to all. Bye now. You should still check out that Archie and Betty kissed. Yes. So what if I did? Did you at least have a reason? Hi. I'm Cheryl Blossom, a.k.a. Cheryl Bombshell. I need no reasons. Feel free to tremble. That was better idea. Why don't you tell me what's bothering you? Because you're in a lot of pain. Get your sapphic serpent hands off oh, my body. Damn. I get some cherry cola for Cheryl Bombshell. Oh my god. Why do you keep stopping me? I'm not. Her answer is. You want to see this movie with fangs and you bailed on me. Are you okay? I know I'm at the movies. And I'm trying to stay away from my mother who has turned our house into her sexual appointment. So no, I'm really not. Well, I was gonna go grab a seat alone, unless you want some company. No pressure. You may think you'd master the art of some tears, <laughs> but I saw you crying during that movie show. Everyone thinks I'm this loveless monster. <gasps> My baby! But it isn't true. I loved someone who loved me. Aww. Her name was Heather. She was my best friend in junior high until one night. My mother got us in the same bed. She said I was deviant. You have to know your mother's wrong. Aww. Not You're not deviant. <gasps> You're sensational. Yes! I love that scene. Cheryl, I agreed to come to this full reading, but I didn't agree to a makeover. Unless it involves that blouse. I'm really augmenting it for the occasion. What is going on here? I'm a friend of Cheryl's from school, and she's finding me enough for the whole reading. And why on earth would you be there? I invited her to be my emotional support. Damn, Tony looked good there. Like, for real. Well, I don't think there's any way you amateurs are going to top that, so... Practices over Vixens, in honor of Tony joining our squad, I think we should celebrate with a mandatory supper party at Thistle House. Full disclosure. I didn't want to invite all the girls tonight, but I knew my hideous mother would never allow me to invite just you. Just <laughs> yes! Oh! This is awesome. Yes! Hi. Girlfriends. I'm looking for Cheryl. She wasn't in the hospital with her neighbor. No, she's gone. She left us last night. We've gone mad. And you leave us no choice. What do you mean, no choice? But it's alright. They're gonna make you all better. Mrs. Blossom, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean Cheryl's missing? Don't come here again. I think they did something to her. Go ahead, girls. Ask your questions. You said Cheryl was away at some boarding school. The truth is that Cheryl started exhibiting strange, deviant behavior. Had Toinette to pass to the principal's office. Hello? She's not far away. In a rose? Cheryl, she's nearby. Anna Rose, where is she? 
When we get to the main building, what happens then? We search each and every damn room until we find her. Alright guys, make sure you guys like the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, all those things I just said in the beginning of the video. I'm glad to see you guys. I'm back. And I will try to upload as much as I can, like I said. Um, no promises, though. Um, yeah. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Mwah.